Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, today we're talking about if special provision federal employees, such as firefighters, border patrol, law enforcement, air traffic controllers, you know who you are, if you can get the 10% pension bonus that happens at age 62, or if that is just for the normal folks, we're going to dive into that today. And this, this topic, this question actually came into us from a question people submit. There's a link in all our YouTube descriptions where people can submit questions and we answer them on future episodes. If it's a good question, we answer them on future episodes just like this. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to read the question and then we'll talk about the answer, okay? They say, I am a special provision federal employee with 30 years of FERS service. I am retiring at age 60. And my question is this, if I leave as a special provisions, but come back as a traditional FERS in a traditional FERS position, can I get the 10% bonus to my pension if I work past 62? So this is a great question. If, if Let me give some context though of what's going on. Long story short, special provisioned federal employees normally are forced to retire normally around 56, 57. And sometimes they can work a little longer depending on their position and different things like that, okay? Normally they retire, they're forced to retire, okay? And special provisions actually get a higher multiplier when calculating your pension. If you don't know about mul your multiplier, check out videos I've done on how to calculate your pension. I'll talk all about it, but long story short, this, the bigger this is, the bigger your pension's gonna be, okay? Special provisions get 1.7. Normal folks only normally get 1%. So special provisions get a big bump to your pension just by being special provisions, okay? So here's the deal. If you are a special provisions federal employee and you qualify for a special provisions retirement, have at least 20 years of special provision time, you're gonna get this 1.7 multiplier, that 1.7 multiplier. And long story short, if you didn't know, normal folks, traditional folks, if they work till 62, oh, 62 or longer, and they've got at least 20 years of service, okay, their multiplier goes from 1% to 1.1%, okay? So this change happens if a traditional FERS makes it 62 and beyond, with 20 years of service. So the question that is being asked here is, hey, I'm a special provisions federal employee. What if, what if I retire at 60 from that position, but I jump to a normal position, right? A, no, a traditional position. Can I get this 10% bonus that happens at 62? And the short answer is no. Okay, the short answer is no. Either you qualify for the special provision retirement, you got at least 20 years, and you get that 1.7%, or you qualify for just the normal retirement. You can't do elements of both, okay? So if you qualify for special provisions, you're gonna get 1.7% for the first 20 years, and then 1% after that, okay? And that's it, there's no 10% bonus, there's no nothing on top of that. But if you don't qualify for that, if you're not a special provisions or you don't have enough special provision time, normally 20 years, then you fall under the normal rules where, again, your multiplier is 1% unless you make it till 62 and 20 and you get that 1.1. So long story short, it's all or nothing. If you're a special provisions and you qualify under that retirement, you cannot get the 10% bonus that happens at 62. Even if you come in under a traditional position, there's nothing like that. It's either either or you can't get all the, you can't get the huge 1.7 multiply and then try to get the 10% um, the bonus on top of that. It just doesn't work that way. But I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions yourself you want to submit and have us answer, there's a link in the description below where you can submit those. And I hope that was helpful. Have a great rest of your day.